I have a new package from Shopee today. <gasps> it's pretty! So this is the first time I'm buying clothes from Shopee after one of my friends recommended it to me. Um, she mentioned I was a bit I was always very skeptical about buying clothes on Shopee because you can't try them on and I don't really know what the refund policy is. It's different for every shop and I always have very shitty luck when it comes to buying clothes online and you know being plus size is a bit difficult because if uh, especially when you buy stuff online. So yeah, this is my first time making a purchase, um, a clothing purchase on Shopee. It's fairly cheap. They were only like $39, uh, 39 ringgit each. I was also very skeptical about the quality. So I wasn't very brave enough to go onto Shopee and buy clothes. But after a friend recommended it to me, I decided to give it a try this year. After all, this year is about being brave and trying new things, you know? So this is my first time shopping for clothes on Shopee. They're not my Chinese New Year clothes because I actually have a Chinese New Year outfit already. Okay, so I got a t-shirt. This is a t-shirt. It's very nice and quality-wise, not too bad. But it's a little bit big for me. It's not too big here, but the problem is it's a bit big here. Like... But I like the print, I like the quality. It turned out to be big. <laughs> I was kind of expecting it to be small because you know how Asian sizing is like smaller than Western sizing? So I expected it to be small. But <laughs> it turned out big. And this one is like a pinafore dress, I think. Like, so it is a dress. It's until my ankle. I need this outer um, dress. This shirt is mine. It's old. Um, so it's a little bit big. Like if you can see, it's a bit big. And then you see here, it's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to sit nicely and then, you know, like that. We do that. Maybe we can tighten this up. I hope my mom can work her sewing magic and tighten this one up for me. Then it'll look nicer because right now I just look four times my actual size, which is sad. I am really, really excited to get this one altered because I want to wear it. I can tell it's going to be like my favorite outfit for 2021. I just know. I just know it. Perfect song to listen to. It's raining. This is my current favorite song. Just released from icons Bobby and Chine. Didn't know. Sushi rice is actually a lot more expensive compared to regular rice. So ain't got money for that. Damn. To my hand. Okay, it's gonna be really fat sushi. It's gonna be really fat kimbap. Okay. Crab stick. The first time I made kimbap, I only added ham, but today I want to add crab stick as well. I love crab stick. 
fantastic kimbap. I just placed it into the microwave for 20 seconds to melt the cheese. It came out. I think I learned how to eat this version of gimbap from Ondo. She's one of the Korean YouTubers. And I saw her eat putting cheese in her gimbap, so I followed. But usually I don't put that. Usually I put crab stick, cucumber, two types of pickles, and carrots, spinach, egg. That's what I usually put. So today is a little different. I saw her putting cheese in and I was like... Okay, I'm gonna give that a try. I've never tried kimbap with cheese before, so I'm gonna give this a try. The best place to get burgers. I'm sponsored by the way. I've got my usual. My usual is an order of Ivy Soar. Ivy Soar is the name of the burger. Yeah, the thing that I love about Ivy Soar is that it it has seaweed mayo. So that's my favorite thing about Ivy Soar. And without fail, whenever I go to Burger Lab, it's always Ivy Soar for me. I will never get anything else. Well, Sometimes I do, but 90% of the time, it's always Ivy saw. This one is umami mashed potatoes. I'm gonna eat this while I watch the last episode of Secretary Kim. Annyeong!
happened. Things were going so good. That's what I'm going to tower the witnesses in there that you know. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands. last night and it is my very own idea this is my own idea with a little bit of inspiration from Pinterest so this is my February spread it's the cover page I am obsessed with the cover page the quotes page I'm still working on it, it looks like this now but I'm not completely satisfied I say she like pencil markings because I'm not completely done with it so it's my February and this one's my weekly page. I've got some quotes at the bottom. These are things that RM has read Monster, Kim Nam Jun from BTS has said. So it's like inspirational quotes here and here. So it does say that, um, what is your name and what excites you and makes your heart beat? So in conjunction with Valentine's Day in February because I don't have a boyfriend so I I can't celebrate Valentine's Day but it doesn't mean that you cannot love yourself I think the most important thing is that you love yourself first then you can love someone else so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do love, your, love yourself that's the theme that's my Valentine's Day so a lot of my quotes are uh, very love yourself kind of quotes this is what um, Namjoon said at the, the UNICEF conference during his speech. I love that speech. It's inspirational. And this is the mood tracker. This is my mood tracker. So I'm going to fill in the colors. And then this is my habit tracker. So like that. I haven't filled this too in because I'm not very sure what else I want to track. These ones here that I filled in are pretty much constant for the last one year. I've been checking all this for one year. But this one, I will figure out later and I'll fill it in. And 
This is my weekly planner spread. So this is for week one. Do you know how how exciting it is for February? Because the first starts on a Monday and the 28th, the end of the month, falls on a Sunday. Like, that is so nice. So this is actually my 2021 highlight reel page so every month it's got one for January one for February one for March and then it, so on it goes on for 12 months so every month I will pick up one favorite moment of that month and I'll print it out in my Polaroid uh, in a Polaroid form using my Polaroid printer and I would stick it in this book I'm gonna pick my favorite moment and I'm going to stick it here. I think it's quite obvious what the song of the month is for me. It's ooh, focus. It's BTS, obviously, because I think this song fits the theme for the start of the year because I had a pretty rough year last year and you know with the pandemic and everything I felt very demotivated throughout the year so this song has really helped me to get through because as the title says life goes on and so must we we have to go on with the times and just try and adapt as much as possible so 
I hope January has been okay for most of you. My January hasn't been... It's really hard to actually say what my January was like. Like, it wasn't very good or it wasn't bad either. I had good days and I had bad days too. Definitely felt a little bit draggy. It felt a little bit like 2020 is still here. That is the 13th month of 2020. It just felt like that. It doesn't feel very much like a new year. I'm very, very thankful for the strength that I have been given at the end of December to get through the new year, to get through January. Just at the beginning of the year, the beginning of the month, I just suddenly felt like I had a whole new mentality, a whole new mindset, and I feel stronger. I feel like you know, I can bring myself out of this darkness and I can get through life. I can continue on with my journey, with my life. Um, things still haven't worked out and I could have stayed frustrated. I could have still stayed unhappy, but I told myself that just to let things flow as it is and, you know, trust in the whole process that's happening and just move on with your life, you know, just life is moving on and it's moving forward and I should too, you know, I'm scared and I'm still worried, I'm still scared, I still have my anxiety, always worried because to be honest, this journey is pitch black, I don't know where it's going, where it's leading me or whether or not there's something really good at the end of this path or this journey but the most important thing is that I have hope and I trust in the process of whatever that's happening and all I have to do right now is just to do whatever I can and do whatever that makes me happy keep going as long as I keep going I keep moving forward that's the most important thing and that's what I'm doing this year and that's helped me improve my mental health because I'm just dead set on moving forward I don't want to look back I don't want to stop I don't want to just stand here and feel scared all the time. I just want to move forward. No matter how scared I am, no matter how much obstacles I'm going to face, if I'm unhappy or happy, whatever it is, I'm moving forward and I'm just moving on with my life. And, you know, I have hesitated to do vlogs or like TikToks and all these sort of things, that things that usually I hesitate because I'm scared. But this year, I said to myself, I'm going to try. I'm going to put myself out there. I'm going to try because... These are things that I enjoy and there's definitely going to be haters, there's going to be people after me for no apparent reason. As long as it makes me happy, I think that's more important.